So Joplin, Missouri, in the southwestern corner of Missouri, is in Tornado Alley, and it's May, and you see a lot of tornadoes in this part of the country, especially in the spring months. But for the EF5 tornado, it's very unusual. These had, this tornado had winds of over 200 miles per hour. The width of the tornado was over a mile wide, and it was on the ground for 22 miles in length. So this strong tornado over a very populated area resulted in a high number of casualties that we haven't seen in a number of decades. You saw nothing but absolute uh, devastation and destruction. There is a massive pile of orange metal that used to be a Home Depot. There are trees that are completely debarked. We saw in one instance there was a minivan that was absolutely just flattened and then crushed and wrapped around a tree. Leading up to that specific tornado, there was a lot of super weather in the region. Tornado watches and warnings were being issued and, and people were seeking safe shelter. In some cases, even doing the right thing was not enough. When you have an EF5 tornado with winds of 200 miles per hour, there's only so much you can do if you're not below ground. And, and that's part of the reason why we still saw a high casualty rate, despite the accurate forecasts that were provided well in advance. It's an incredible sight to see that it's, it's how devastating this can be to the community and how real it is that this is not just something that happens in the movies or on, uh, on a television series, that this is unfolding before you, in front of your eyes, and this is, and this is a, a grim reality of the devastation. And as we toured the damage and we had our outer jackets on or hat on with the NOAA logo, they would come up to us and, and thank us. They knew who we are and what we did in terms of issuing those warnings and, and still protecting many lives. But there are many more lessons to be learned in the coming months and years ahead and how we could apply those lessons into future severe weather outbreaks, such as how do people receive tornado warnings and what do they do with that information? And distilling those lessons learned from Joplin will help us better warn and better protect other communities in the future.